How can I help you? Hi, I am Maria. I called you yesterday. Oh, you are our new housemate. Come in, please. Jennifer, this is Maria. She is our new housemate. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you, too. Sit down and have a drink. Thank you. Are you a first year student? You look so young. Yes, what about you? Both Jennifer and I are third year students. We have been living here for two years. How was your first day at university? It was so interesting. I made many friends. Are you going to join any clubs at university? Hmm, I am thinking about that. Let me take you to your room. It is upstairs. Thanks! This is your room. You can put your clothes in this wardrobe. Where is the washing machine, Jennifer? I have some dirty clothes. It is over there. I will show you after dinner. Okay. So let's go downstairs and have dinner. Emily is waiting for us. Have a seat, Maria. Make yourself at home and enjoy the food. I guess you must be hungry after a long day. Are you going to raise any pets in this house? Oh no, I am allergic to animal fur. Me too. I hate animals. They are so dirty. Do you like running? Of course. It is good for our health. Jennifer and I often go running in the morning. Sometimes she is lazy and I have to run alone. It is not my fault. The weather is so cold. We will run together tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I do not need you anymore, Jennifer. Hi, Jenny. Why are you sitting here? You look pretty sad. I think my classmates look down on me because my latest exam results are really bad. Don't keep that thought. You have your own talents to prove that you are a much better than anyone else. Thank you for cheering me up, but I don't think I have anything special. Come on! If you keep being pathetic, you will never improve yourself. Let's eat ice cream. I've heard that you went to the hospital yesterday, Tom. That's right. I have to go on a regular health condition checkup. Do you know which part of it makes me scared most? Which one? That was when the nurse picked my arm with the needle. I was so frightened that I had to look away. Haha, <laughs> I won't react like that if I were you. How long have you been in Hanoi? I've lived there for about five years. I look on the city as my home. I really love the people and the scenery there. Yeah, I know. Me too. I really enjoy the beauty of the sunset when wandering around Hong Kim Lake. What are you doing, Katie? I'm looking through my notes before the exam. Seems like a lot, huh? Yeah, but I learned my by heart all of them, so it doesn't take a lot of time to revise. Good student. I guess you always get the highest score in your class, and everybody looks up to you. Not really. I just try my best to improve myself day by day. Why are you late? On my way home. I saw a large crowd looking on as a street band was playing my favorite song, so I stopped and enjoyed it. I have to go to the market now. Look out for Anna while you're there, okay? Okay, Mom. This is Helen Watson. Can I ask who's calling? It's me, Jacob, your high school friend. Do you recognize my voice? Oh, yeah. 
How's it going, Jacob? Why do you call me? Well, I am in Van Tau City at the moment, and I'm really excited to look in on you now. Really? I'm glad you are here. Do you still remember my address? Well, not really, haha. <laughs> it's okay. Hold on, I will show you the directions. Thank you. Can't wait. I can't wait to see Anna's new house. Yeah, me too. We haven't seen her for a week. Wow, Anna's house looks great. Yes, it looks cool. Oh, hi guys. Hi, hi Anna. Anna. Let's go inside. It's been a long time since I last went to your old house. Yeah, Harry. I'm glad you guys came. You have a beautiful home, Anna. I like how spacious it is. Oh, thank you, Diana. I'm glad to hear that. I love the decor. Did you do it yourself? Actually, I had a friend of mine do it based on my favorites. Hmm. That's awesome. Thanks. It's nice of you to say so, Harry. Wow! Anna, where did you get that lovely picture? Oh, my younger sister drew it for me. She really wants to be an artist. That's nice. She did a great job. Let's go upstairs, shall we? Okay. I'm so excited to see what is going to look like upstairs. Let's go. Oh, Fiona! We are here! Hi, Fiona. Hi, guys. Sorry for being late. My dad's car had a bit of a problem. It's okay, Fiona. We also just arrived. Come and sit here. Okay. Fiona, your new hair looks great. Yeah, you look nice. Oh, really? Thanks, guys. Where did you get your hair done? I did it in Dora Hair Salon. Do you know that place? Hmm, I don't remember exactly. It sounds familiar. Ah, I know that hair salon. It's opposite the stadium, right? Yes, it is. Ah, I remember. I took my little sister to get a haircut there once. Their service was great. Yeah, I agree. They took good care of customers. Hmm. I also want to try a new haircut there because your hair is amazing! <laughs> they probably won't let you down. Every weekend, Laura's family will clean their house. Today, we will clean our house. Come on. I will clean the kitchen and then make cake for you. Okay, honey. I will clean the living room and our bedroom. Paul, can you clean your room and Laura's room? Yes, sir. I will do that. What about Laura? Yes, brother. I will clean the bathroom, the washing machine. Then I will do the laundry. Is that okay? Okay, let's start. Darling, what are you saying? You seem so excited. Yes, I am saying cleanliness is next to godliness. Is it true? Yes, it is. The clean house will make us comfortable. The atmosphere is clean and clear. We will live healthy. Of course. This is because I clean our house, right, honey? Yes, yes. You are right, but we will have delicious meal with the clean dishes too, right? Yes, it is thanks to you, honey. Mom, 
Do you finish making cake? I am tired. I am hungry. Yes, son. I am making pizza. Wait a little. You will have a pizza soon. Laura, what about you? Did you finish the laundry? Yes, mom. I finished doing laundry. I will take the clothes to the laundry basket. Then I will exposure the clothes. Good, daughter. Quickly and come to the kitchen. We will take a break and have fast foods. Yes, I will come to the kitchen soon. Wow, the pizza looks delicious. I like pizza. At this time, Paul also goes to the kitchen and comes to the eating table. Wow, this pizza is so big. Laura, I will help you eat it. Darling, come here and take a short break. Okay, honey. I will come soon. Excuse me. There appears to be something wrong with my bill. Can you help me to check the bill? Certainly, sir. Let me see. You've got two kilos of mangoes, which is four dollars and fifty cents. A tube of toothpaste, three dollars. An electric cooker, seventy-nine dollars. Oh, I think I have been charged the incorrect amount for that cooker. I saw it on the shelf with the price tag of sixty-five dollars, not seventy-nine dollars. I suggest you leave it with us, and we'll see what we can do. Oh no! I had to wait for fifteen minutes in a long line at the cash register. We are really sorry. Can you please wait a minute? I will call the manager of the department store. Can I see your bill again, sir? I'm quite angry because the discount is not included as you advertised, and this keeps me waiting for more than twenty minutes to get my bill corrected. Okay, I see. Here is your extra money. We are terribly sorry for this mistake. We promise not to do that again. Okay, I hope so. Thank you, sir. We hope to serve you again. Hey, Nick. Don't you have classes today? No. Today I have off. You see, I have been playing this game since you left for school. Guess what? I am up to level twenty. You seem so proud of that. The look. The room looks like a mess. You barely clean the room, do you? Oh, I. You also put your clothes everywhere on the floor. You said that you were busy reviewing for the coming exam. So I have helped you wash the dishes and take out the garbage for the last three weeks. But now the exam is over. You have to take responsibility for cleaning the room as we have shared. Okay, I see. Honestly speaking, I have been lazy these days. But from now on, I will be responsible for my tasks. By the way, I'm afraid I've got a complaint about your time. You always go to bed late, and you keep the light on all night long. This makes me unable to sleep well. Well, I'm afraid there is nothing I can do about that. Actually, you know, I have to work part time online at home to earn money for my study. Why don't you use a lamp instead of the ceiling lights? I am so sorry, but can you keep calm? I nearly forget about it. I will use my lamp. Okay. I hope that you don't repeat everything again. Yes, I promise. I will cook the lunch now. Okay. Okay. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? 
Well, I bought a dress for my wife yesterday, but she did not like it. May I return it? I am afraid you cannot return it, but you can change it for another one. This dress did not fit her, is it right? No, she did not like its color. Is this the only color you have? What color does she like? She likes yellow. Do you have it? Yes, sir. Please wait for a while. Here is the dress, sir. I hope she will like it. Do you want to choose anything else? A pair of shoes? Hmm. That is a good idea. So, do you know her size? Let me see. I think it is a size 37. What color does she like? She often wears black shoes. Okay. I will give a pair of black shoes in size 37. What do you think about these? They look so beautiful. I guess my wife will love them immediately. In case they do not fit her, may I change for others? Yes, but you should change for ones with equal or higher prices, sir. Okay. How much do I have to pay for these shoes? Forty U.S. dollars, sir. Okay. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Hello. Can I help you with these documents? It seems that they are too heavy for you. Yes, um, but are you free now? It may take some time. Don't worry. I am not busy now. I am relaxing for a while. Okay, thank you. I am Brian. What is your name? I am Linda. Nice to meet you, Brian. Why do you bring so many documents? Well, I am an accountant of our company. I need these documents to prepare financial statement. You look so strange, Brian. I have not seen you before. That is right. I am a new salesman in the sales department. I just arrived last week. Oh, I see. How was your first days at our company? How to say. My colleagues are so kind and friendly. I have learned much from them. If you need any help, don't mind calling me. Thanks in advance, Linda. Uh, what can I do with these documents, Linda? Can you put them on the table? Okay. Would you like another cup of coffee? No, thanks. I should go back to work now. Okay. Thank you very much, Brian. You are so kind. Do not mention it, Linda. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. Hey, Mary. What's up? Hi, Bob. I'm quite annoyed that there is something in the neighborhood that smells unpleasant. Oh, really? I don't smell anything strange. I work out regularly in the morning, and I really enjoy the fresh air at that time. But recently, I have always smelled a strong smell. Oh, I see. Let me see. Is it the smell of the garbage truck? I guess not, because it doesn't come here until 9 a.m. Hey, look! Bob, your dog! Hi, Mary! Oh, Bob, your dog drives me crazy. I hate to tell you, but last night it barked until 3 a.m. I was exhausted because I had to work overtime that evening. But your dog kept barking, and it made me unable to sleep. I'm terribly sorry about the inconvenience of my dog. But 
Don't worry, I'm trying to teach her to use the toilet and keep quiet at night. I can't stand it any longer. I do wish you could keep your words. Okay, I will try, Mary. Okay, have a nice day. Talk to you later. Bye, see you later. Good morning, madam. How can I help you? Well, I am finding a dress for a birthday party tonight. What color do you like? I like red. And a short or long dress? I think the long one will be more suitable. Please wait for a few minutes. I will find you a suitable dress. Okay, thanks. Do you like this dress, madam? Hmm, this one is beautiful, but I do not like the sleeves. Is there anything without sleeves? Of course, madam. That is it. Do you want to try it on? Okay, I will try it on. Where is the fitting room? The fitting room is over there. What is the problem with the dress, madam? I like this one, but have you got it in a larger size? I think I have gained weight. Yes, I have, madam. Is that a good fit? It is just right. I will take it. Do you want to buy anything else? No, thanks. It is enough. How much does it cost? It is 50 US dollars. Do you want to pay in cash or by credit card? Credit card, please. This is the bill and your credit card. Thanks and see you again, madam. Sure, thank you. Hello, John. Hi, Maria. I heard you went for a physical examination yesterday. Is your health still good? The doctor said my health condition was bad. Oh, what's the matter? I have bronchitis. If I don't inhale promptly, I may have myocardial infraction. It must be very serious. Is it possible that you smoked recently? I used to, but... I ought to stop now and then. Yeah, right. My husband used to smoke, but not anymore. And I think you should take a break at this time. Maybe so. The doctor also said that I have to rest for at least a week and do light work. In addition, I have to go to the hospital for testing every week. Yeah, you should be like that. I could have been on a trip with everyone this week. Unfortunately, I applied for break and will start taking time off tomorrow. May as well rest and treat- Thank you, Maria. I come back to office first. Honey, come and try this. I finished cooking dinner. this soup is out of this world. Really? I'm not sure about that, actually. I'm not kidding you. You've got to give me the recipe for this soup. <laughs> okay, honey. Seriously, you like it that much? What about this one? Is this pasta? Yeah, that's right. I made it for our dinner, but I want to wait for our son to taste it. I just want to give it a try. Please. Well, all right. Only a bit, okay? <laughs> Yay. Love you. Mmm, yummy. You have been cooking better these days. Oh, really? Thanks for your compliment.
Yeah, you cook even better than me now. I'm jealous. <laughs> you should be happy because I cook you delicious food every day. All right, it's my pleasure. I won't complain anymore. Oh, our son is home. Let me set the table. Okay, I will open the door. Mom, where are you going? I'm going to look Amy up. She's one of my old friends, and she's just moved to town. When will you come back, Mom? Tonight, I guess. Look after your younger brother while I'm not at home, okay? He's still sleeping, Mom. Can you buy some fried chicken on your way home, Mom? Sure. Goodbye. By the end of next week, we will have to finish our presentation about the environment. Have you decided what to do, Sarah? Not yet. I'm still looking at various websites to gain some information for this project. I feel like I'm going nowhere. Me too. We should look ahead together to assign who is going to do which task, shouldn't we? I think I'm going to work with the slides. I'm really good at organizing and designing them. So I will deliver our presentation. We both should look up the latest information about this topic. Sure. The deadline will be Sunday. Would that be possible? I'm in. Where were you yesterday, Hannah? Well, I just looked around my hometown. It's Vangtau City. Really? Has it changed a lot since you left? I don't really think so. I visited my parents' house and wandered around the city. New buildings have been built, but nothing much has changed. You seemed to really enjoy it, didn't you? Totally. When I look back, my old days there, I'm filled with a mixture of happiness and sadness. I also look forward to visiting my hometown one day. I really want to take a day off from this hectic lifestyle. Hey, David. Look out! Oh my god, thank you. I might have fallen because of the book. Now, tell me what brings you here. Actually, I'm still looking for a job and quite struggling with it. So, you come here to look to me to give you a chance? I think you might know some companies that have a suitable vacancy for me. Okay. I'll help you. I really appreciate your help. Hi, John. Are you on the way to our manager's room? Yeah, you too? Absolutely. I just wonder why we have to have an urgent meeting like this. Are there any problems? Well, I've heard on the grapevine that our company is facing a shortfall in revenue since last month. Oh, that's why the manager gathered everyone to look into the problem and discuss how to solve it. I hope we can handle it well. Do you think I should move house to ABC Street, Anna? I looked over the area last week, and things are more convenient to me than the one I am living in. Can you list some? Well, my office is near the street, so I don't have to take a bus every day. Also, I want to have a gym membership, and there is a gym center located right there. And I heard from my friends that you can buy a good house with an affordable price. Hmm. I think it's great, but have you read the newspaper recently? 
What's the matter? The police have been looking out for burglars all the time, as there are a lot of them in that area. Really? All right. I will consider whether to move house or not, then. Dad! Mom! I got ten for my English exam! Congratulations, Tom! I will cook something delicious for you. You had a really stressful week, didn't you? Totally. I was scared that I couldn't do the test well, so I tried my best to study everything. To be honest, I felt really under pressure, as there were a lot of things I had nearly forgotten. But things look up now, right? You can finally relax. You're right. Hi, Susan and Peter. Sorry for coming late. The traffic was terrible tonight. No problem. We have just arrived. Who is she, John? Oh, she is my girlfriend. Her name is Alice. Hi, I'm Alice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Please have a seat. Thanks. Alice, they are Susan and Peter. We have been friends for ten years. John told me a lot about both of you. Alice, what is your favorite food? I like beef steak. That is my favorite food, too. We have some hobbies. Oh, really? I'm happy to hear that. What about you, John and Peter? Do you want to eat steak? I'm okay. Me too. Are you ready to order? Yes, the beef steak for all of us, please. What is your job, Alice? I am a teacher. So, what do you think about John? Let me see. He is the laziest man I have ever seen. Are you making fun of me? I'm just kidding. Everyone, why don't we go to the cinema after dinner? That's a good idea. I have not watched movies in a long time. I'm so busy with my new job. Alice, do you like it? It is okay. There is a very interesting film tonight. Let me buy tickets in advance. Everyone, this is Alex. He will be a new salesman in our department. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm very happy to be here. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the sales department. Your seat is over there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or your co-workers. Thank you, sir. Alex, how old are you? I am 23 years old. I have graduated. I hope that I can learn from all of you here. Oh, you are welcome. Do you have a girlfriend, Alex? Yes, her name is Cinderella. She is an accountant. You have no chance, Laura. I guess she is very beautiful. Will you introduce us to her someday? Of course. <laughs> Do you have any plans for lunch, everyone? No, I don't. What about you, David and Laura? Me too. Me too. How about eating pizza together? I will pay for it. Wonderful. I would love it. Okay, let's do that. Hello, everyone. I am a new member of this English club. My name is Paul. Hi, Paul. Nice to meet you. Join with us. 
Can I sit here? You are welcome, Paul. I am Laura. Hi, Laura. Glad to meet you. How long have you learned English? Only three months. My English is not very good. Don't worry, Paul. We will help you to improve your English day by day. I will try my best. What is your major at university, Paul? My major is management. Oh, my major is tourism. English is very necessary. Let me introduce you to other members of our club. This is Tom, Matthew, Anne, Brian. So, it is 2 p.m. Can we start the discussion? Yes. yes. Our topic today is global warming. Do you have any ideas, anyone? It is 4 p.m. I think we should stop the discussion here. I agree. I have an appointment with my doctor at 5 p.m. Okay. See you again next Saturday. How do you feel about our discussion, Paul? It was so interesting. I learned a lot from it. By the way, I'm going to the library to borrow some English books. Do you want to go with me? It sounds interesting. Let's go now. Are you okay, Lucy? Please help me to the other side. Wait a minute. I'll bring a water bottle to you. Thank you, Lynn. Are you better? Yeah. Okay, don't worry. Perhaps due to stressful work. Your company is able to be very busy, right? Yes. There are too many things I need to resolve. I must work almost 18 hours each day. I haven't been able to rest recently. It's so bad. I don't know how to advise you, but you need to talk about it now, Lucy. Maybe so. I think you should meet a psychiatrist and talk to them. Yeah, thank you. My friend is a psychiatrist. He has an office nearby. Would you like me to take you there? It's bothering me so much. I can walk by myself. Can you give me his address and phone number? I do not remember. Tonight I will ask more and send you a message. Thank you so much. I will call and meet him this Sunday. You're welcome. Hello? Oh, hello. Are you Lucy? Yes, that's right. Sit down, please. Thank you. When you called me last Thursday, I understood a little about the current situation. Can you talk more specifically? So, okay. You should rest for a while. Putting the work aside, just for a day or a few days, the mood should be better. I can't stop working. You are always stressed and pressured, so you cannot do a good job. So you have to rest and come back to work well. Productivity will be high, and you will feel more comfortable. Oh, I see. For example... You can spend a few days traveling or sleeping or resting or simply gardening with a friend for a coffee. Thanks for your advice. It might be good. Hope you will be stable. You can call or come by my clinic anytime. Thank you so much, Henry. Yeah, take care of yourself. Can you see Peter anywhere? He might be going to the school. He can't be, Kathy. I've just seen him. He may be in the dressing room. Is that Peter? Hey, Peter, we're here! We are looking for you, Peter. Really? You look tired. Are you okay? Do you need a break? I'm okay. 
Probably because I practiced playing badminton very tiredly yesterday. I can see. You should win this contest. Well, today David was sick and couldn't take the run this time. Who can go for him? I already asked Miss Linda. We need someone who's good at running instead. Looks like Beavis hasn't joined in anything yet. Can you run as well as David, Beavis? Okay. I think I can do it well. Twenty minutes left to play badminton. You should get ready, Peter. Okay. See you at the badminton court again. <gasps> Why am I here? The medical teacher said that you have a debilitating body and mental stress. You should rest for a few days and then go back to school. So, what about the match? Don't worry, Peter. We can take the first contest again next year. You have to put your health first. I'm really sorry for not taking care of my health. I feel sorry for everyone. Don't worry, Peter. Now you must rest. I'll call your parents to take you home. Thank you, Mrs. Linda. Thank you, James. I wonder if this will be okay for tonight. Yes, I think it fits you. How much is it? It is $24.60. Okay, let me take this one. Yes, I will pack it for you. Could you please come to the counter for payment? Okay. How will you pay for it? By cash or credit card? I will use my credit card. Here you go. Thank you, madam. Hi, how are you? I am fine, thank you. And you? Oh, I am great, thanks. So, have you decided where will you go on your next holiday? No, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I will go to Spain. How will you get there? I will take a taxi to the airport. Who will you go with? I will go with my classmates. What will you do if you go there? If the weather is sunny, I will go swimming all day. Oh, really? Why won't you go on an excursion? Yes, I will go on an excursion. I will bring my camera with me. I will take as many photos as I can. That sounds great. I will bring my computer notebook with me, too. Why will you bring your computer notebook with? Won't you relax? No, I will surf the internet, then I will send my photos to my family. They will feel like they're on holiday with me. That's a good idea. I hope to receive your photos too. Of course, I will do that. Hey, do you know what the weather will be like this weekend? Yes, I do. It will be sunny and warm this weekend. Great. Do you have any plans for this weekend? Should we have a trip together? That sounds like a good idea. We will have an amazing trip this weekend. What will we prepare for the trip? On Friday evening, I will make some sandwiches to bring to the park. Great. I like sandwiches very much. We will make grilling meat. It will be very delicious. I like grilled sausages. Will we make it? Okay, so we need to prepare a furnace bar. I will bring some snacks with us. What about drinks? The weather will be sunny. It is ideal to eat ice cream, so I will bring ice cream with a cooler. Okay, I will bring Coca-Cola. Okay. 
We will play games and relax in the grass. We will listen to the radio and dance together. I am dreaming about this trip. It will be so fun. The teacher is coming. Lessons first. Okay. Excuse me. How can I help you? You have been standing here for quite a long time. Oh, my house is over there, but I cannot cross the road. Cars run so fast. I see. The traffic here is always terrible. Do you want me to cross the road with you? That is great. Thanks a lot. It is very kind of you. You are welcome. I like to help other people, especially the elderly and children. You are a good girl. You make me miss my grandmother. I have not seen her for years. Why? Because she lives abroad with my uncle. I think I will come home and make a video call with her right away. You should do that, girl. I am sure your grandmother will be very happy. Thank you. Can you come home alone? Of course. Excuse me. Yes, what can I do for you? Can you show me the way to the post office? I need to send a gift to my parents. Let me see. It is quite far from here. Why don't you take a bus? I think it will be more convenient. But I do not know which bus passed by the post office. You can get on the bus number two. It will take you about 30 miles. That is a good idea. Let's sit here and wait for the bus. Okay, thank you. Hi, I am Vivian. What's your name? My name is Serena. I am a second year student. What about you, Vivian? I am a first year student. I have just come here, so I have not known much about the city. I used to, but now I can go everywhere by bus. Taking buses is not as difficult as you might think. Oh, I will try. My bus is coming. I have to go now, Vivian. Okay, see you again, Serena. What is the matter with you, Anna? You do not look well. I have a stomach ache. I have not eaten anything this morning. How can I help you? Could you buy me some bread and medicine? Of course. Wait here, Anna. Thank you, Peter. Good morning. How can I help you? I want to buy some medicine for my friend. She has a stomach ache. Well, she can take some medicine to reduce pain temporarily. After that, she should go to the hospital for further check. How much does it cost? It is five US dollars. Here you are. Thank you. How do you feel, Anna? Is it better? Yes, I feel better now. Thanks, Peter. Never mind. We are friends. How long have you had a stomach ache? As I remember, it began last month. Why did you not tell me? I'm sorry, Peter. 
I do not want to bother you. So silly you are. I will take you to the hospital tomorrow before it gets worse. Okay, let's do that. Anna, you should not underestimate your disease. It may get worse if you do not take care of yourself. Do you often stay up late and skip breakfast? Yes, I often stay up late to do my homework. I sometimes skip breakfast if I am in a hurry. They are not good habits, Anna. You had better change your lifestyle to have a better health. And remember to take your medicine on time. I know, doctor. Thank you. <laughs>